Hello Marauders, here is the review for polar stuff, polar coordinates, polar graphing for Friday's test. Oh, Van Gogh left his ear here. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so some of the questions, little polar graphs. Here's a little question. Uh, here's some graph paper. Hmm, four, five pi over six. Let's see, four, one, two, three, four, five pi over six. Maybe I'll just pull out my uh, trick sheet. Of course, I know that's almost pi, five sixths of pi, and pi is over here. So I'm guessing some are over here. Of course, I could just look on here too, five pi over six. Remember, I'm on the fourth ring. One, two, three, four, uh, about right there. So that's that guy. And let's do the other one. Oh, wait, what's going on here? Negative. Okay, I've got a negative angle, and pi over four is 45 degrees, but it's negative. So remember, Negative, we better go this way. Negative, we're going to go in the negative direction because this is positive. So we're going to go negative 45 degrees, about right here. And I'm at two, one, two. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. But look at this negative radius. Don't go this way. Reverse it. Go the opposite side. Boom. That's your point. It's a little tricky negative direction and reverse okay so you're gonna have to practice some of those okay which answer is the same as six pi over three so pi over three let's see six this doesn't go all the way up to six but here's pi over three unless i count like this two four six eight right so pi over three right over there but which of these point two four six so i was on this, and then pi over three, there's pi over three, so I just kind of went up here and got the point. But what is another one that's the same? Which of these are also the same? Hmm, so let's see what we got. We've got six negative two thirds pi. Well, that's not quite right. Two thirds pi, it's kind of hard to read on this here. There's one, two, Oh, but I'm on the wrong side, aren't I? I'm over here. So remember the negative angle's going this way. So that's no good. So uh, this, this one's out. How about negative six, negative pi over three? Negative pi over three is this far, 60 degrees this way, uh, but a negative angle. So I went negative, negatives. Oh, it's over here somewhere. That's no good. Six, four thirds pi. In fact, maybe this one's a little easier to read. Four thirds pi. No, I'm way over here, and it's positive, so that's over here again. What about seven thirds pi? Well, here's pi over three. One, let's go like this. One pi over three, two pi over three. This is three pi over three, four pi over three, five pi over three. Here would be six pi over three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pi over three. Yeah, seven pi over three is like six plus one third, isn't it? Six plus one is seven thirds. Six over three is two. Two and a third, and put pies on those. Two pies all around a circle and a third of pi, back where I started. So it looks like choice D. Find the rectangular coordinates of three negative 90. Let me draw this guy out. Three negative, negative 90 this way. Negative 90 and three, one, two, three. Okay, so we go this way and out a radius of three. So here's where I'm at. So if I thought about regular graph paper, that's the point zero, negative three. Oops, I'm off the screen. Zero, negative three, because over here is three, zero. Here's zero, negative, zero, three. Here's negative three, zero, and zero, negative three. So negative 90 down three. I would have picked uh, that one right there. Uh, next one, four pi over six. Hmm, now how am I going to do this one? Okay, so these are the polar coordinates. It wants me to find the rectangular. I could think of it as like one, two, three, four pi over six. It's about there. There's a radius of four. Uh, but what is the x, y coordinates? You know, how about I, maybe I'll use this. X is our cosine theorem, or polar or rectangular. Y is R sine theta. So X is R cosine theta. Y is R 
sine theta. Okay, so we'll take the numbers they gave us. X is four, there's the radius, and that's theta, R and theta. So four cosine of pi over six. But what is cosine of pi over six? I'll look that up. Cosine, pi over six, radical three over two, or I could just grab it right there. So four times radical three over two. Okay, which is if four and two cancel, two radical three. And I'll do the other one. So I got that. In fact, I'm looking at the choice. It's already looking like this one, isn't it? But we should do the other part. Radius is four, radius is four, sine of pi over six. And of course I look at sine of pi over six. Of course I should know it. There's pi over six, there's a sine one half. So y is four times one half, y is two. Yep, that's it. There's x, there's y. So those are the rectangular coordinates, two radical three comma two. So whether you're polar or rectangular. Okay, here's another one. Rectangulars are given back to polar. Okay, I remember rectangular, sometimes you forget which one you're doing and we wanna go back to the other one. We wanna go back to r and theta. We wanna go to polar. So how can I do this? Let's graph it. Now remember I'm in rectangle, so regular graph paper over three, three, there's the point, three comma three. What is it in polar? Well, wait a minute, here's what we gotta do. We gotta find the radius, remember? <gasps> Pythagorean theorem time. Remember if I, if I kind of forget a little? Rectangular to polar, go, oh yes, Pythagorean theorem and tangent. These are the things I'm gonna use. So, three squared plus three squared, nine plus nine, radical 18. You might have to change your stuff, change your radicals. Go, remember what we did a long time ago? 18. Think of a number you know the square root of, not six, but nine times two. Nine times two, why? Because I know nine. Nine is three rad two. So there's the radius, three rad two. And then I'm already looking one of these guys. And the angle, how could I find that? Once again, I'm going to polar. I want to get polar. Oh yeah, tangent. I'm gonna do some tangent stuff. The tangent of theta. So I'm trying to find this angle right here. And we got three and three. Opposite hypotenuse. Three over three. Tangent of three over three. Tangent of theta is one. I could use my calculator or I could just pull out my trig sheet. Second tangent. Now three divided by three, or I can just put in one, and it says 45 degrees. And am I in the right quadrant? Yeah, that looks like 45 degrees. I try not to confuse you by going into other quadrants. And there's my answer. Convert the polar equation to rectangular. R is five. Let me think about that. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, that's a circle with a radius of five. What's the rectangular equation? I remember x squared plus y squared. If the radius is five, is r squared. So x squared plus y squared is five squared, 25. Ta-da! Okay, that's a basic one. They can get kind of complicated, but we're gonna keep it kind of simple. If, if I had more complicated stuff, I can use these to switch back and forth. Hey, I'm gonna ask you to put some stuff in Desmos, like one plus one cosmos, cosmos, cosine of theta and say, which graph is it? Let's check out Desmos. So open up Desmos. Oops, I got this on here. Remember when you get in the Desmos, it's in the upper right, there's this wrench. See the wrench? Click the wrench, get off this, see, back and forth. Get to polar graph paper, turn off. Type in your equation, like r is one plus whatever that said, one cosine, I don't know why I'm in capitals, theta, where's theta? Make sure the keyboard, there's a keyboard here. Hit ABC, ABC to find the alphabet under the P. See all the letters under the P is a theta. And you can close it and you can see the graph. And I don't see anything, probably because I typed it in capital letters. There we go, cosine of theta. Wait, what's going on? That's not right, why? It should be in this. Check, check, cut. 
Okay, get yourself in Desmos. And before you start typing, go, wait a minute. This looks like rectangle paper. Go up to the wrench. There's a wrench up here. Put it in polar so you can go back and forth. Polar, okay, now I'm good. Hit the wrench. Now I can start typing in R equals whatever that said, one plus, make sure you don't have capitals on, cosine, where's theta? Keyboard down here, there's your keyboard. And it's in numbers, hit A, B, C, get the alphabet, and under the P is the theta. There you go, there's a graph. And of course, you could put in whatever you want and see what kind of graph you get. All right, and don't forget anything in 6.5, I'm not gonna review again, because we just did it. And like I said, if we did more of the chapter, there was more goodies down in here, like taking polars and dividing them and squaring them and cubing and finding the complex cube roots. And there's lots of other stuff we didn't get to. So anyway, tomorrow's test. Remember, you can use your notes, use your calculator, and use Desmos Friday and Friday only. Good luck, Marauders, and have fun.